call the uh, Board of Supervisors meeting to order. Just to let you know, Bob Martin can't be here tonight. And uh, he's, he had a prearranged vacation before we scheduled the meeting. And Robbie, would you do the pledge and invocation, please? Mm -hmm. It's all right. Heavenly Father, we take this opportunity to come before you this afternoon, just thanking you for the many blessings and many graces, and all the graces you passed down upon us, Lord. And we ask that you continue to watch over us, protect us, keep us mindful of our duties through this meeting, watch over and protect everyone as we as we come in touch with. And Lord, just ask that you be with all those that are sick, shut in, or struggling in any way. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do I have a motion to uh, for the payment of invoices? Make a motion that we uh, issue payment of the listed invoices. I have a motion. Do I have a second? A second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? I call for the vote. Uh, start with you, Joe Neal. So, so move. Yes. Uh, uh, Philip. Yes. I say yes. Robbie. Yes. Dr. Littrell. Yes. All right. Motion carries. All right. Do I have a motion? Has everyone got to look at the minutes of the previous meeting? You have, uh, do I have a motion to accept those meeting minutes? I make a motion to accept the minutes of the previous meeting. Do I have a second? So move. Any any discussion? All right, call for vote. Start with you, Dr. Littrell. Yes. Robbie? Yes. I say yes. Philip? Yes. Joe? Yes. All right, motion carry. <coughs> All right, new, uh, new business, consent the calendar. Do I have a motion to approve the consent, consent calendar? I make a motion that we accept the consent calendar. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, yes. if you may, uh, we've adopted a new uh, method of doing the consent calendar, which includes all the changes in personnel how we outline it. Uh, if y'all see any changes you'd like to have in the future before the next meeting, just let us know. Otherwise, we'll continue with this method of consent count. Yep. Makes it simple in my viewpoint. Mm -hmm. All right, I have a motion and a second. To, uh, start with a call for the question. Joe? Yes. Sorry. Philip? Yes. I say yes. Robbie? Yes. Dr. Little? Yes. All right. Motion carries. And I have uh, the new business uh, memo of understanding with the Veterans, Administ Med Veterans Affairs. Do I have a motion concerning that? Essentially, I, I guess I would have to speak to it. It allows the uh, departments re requesting for parking spaces to Park for government owned vehicles in the parking lot at the uh, at the complex, and I guess that will be assigned by the county administrator. So that's pretty much what that is. So do I have a motion reference to that? Make a motion that we approve that. Allow them to. All right. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Mr. Chairman, I just have one suggestion on that. Yes. It would be that um, it calls out the contracting party as the Carroll County Governmental Center. Um, I would propose we change that to the County of Carroll for use of the Governmental Center. But the, the Governmental Center is not the party, it's the county that was the be a party to the contract. But um, with that suggestion, I got you. Would would uh, somebody like to amend their motion to cover that? I will res, uh, rescind my second and let Mr. McCraw amend it. And
Yeah, 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 we just, yeah. All right, so you you gonna amend that motion? Okay, we're well, we amend about it. Amanda. Yeah, we're we're rather yeah, we than throw it, so we can amend it. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, now we got that covered. Now I just need a motion to cover the change in that. Do I have a motion to cover that? I make a motion we accept the memorandum of understanding with Veterans Affairs as amended. All right, that covers. Do I have a second? So move. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Right, start with you, Dr. Little. We're voting on the amendment. The amendment, yes. yeah, the covers the amendment, yeah. Yes. I say, sorry. <laughs> I say yes. Phil? Yes. And Joe? Yes. I'm still tired from the, the county fair, which half the audience is too, I'd say. <laughs> All right, the, uh, do I have, has everyone got to look at the extended year uh, grant from the school board? Everyone had a chance to look at that? All right, do I have a motion on that? So that you, what this does is uh, prove and appropriate $295,000 to the instruction for Carroll County Public Schools. That's funds that were received from the Department of Education to reinstate intercession for both spring and fall for the school system. Uh, all right. So it's a grant, there's no... That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. that's a grant. So do I have a motion? Cover that. I'd like to have a motion that we accept the extended school year contract so that it includes intercession, the both spring and fall session. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? I do know that intercession was, I know my grandkids really enjoyed the intercession, so I'm it, glad that we got the grant for that. And, it, it is a very successful program in Scarrow County Schools. Right. Anybody else? All right, Joe, I'll start with you. Yes. Philip? Yes. I say yes. Robbie? Yes. Dr. Little? Yes. All right, that motion carries. All right, now go to old business under other. Kevin, would you like to come forward and speak just a few minutes? Not really. Well, I, you know, we, I think we're all going to have something to say here. Yes, sir. Yeah. But, uh, um, I didn't really come prepared, as I told Tony when he asked me to come, but uh, probably another really great fire. Nobody, I, they always ask me what I base that on. If nobody gets hurt, we don't have too much of a rain out. We had a little bit of rain out, but all in all, it was pretty good. Uh, really good fire. Most of you know we do the Ag Education Days during the daytime. Myra handed me a note said, well, over 900 kids come through. We do all the second, third graders in Carroll County, the, the city of Galax, and a couple of Grayson County schools, okay? Uh, on Friday, the Young Farmers Group here in Carroll County for Part of Farm Bureau does fifth grade Ag Days, and that's just Carroll County students. So over 900 between second, third, and fifth graders came through that deal uh, this week. About 12 or 14 stations, different, different Ag uh, curriculums kind of taught, just kind of... <coughs> Teach them a little bit about ag, the biggest industry in the county, okay? It's really important to us. Uh, it's what, what we try to base the fire around. Yeah, we got Carnival Rising, we got a lot of stuff, but we, we, we want to educate as we're doing as well and have fun too. Um, if, if you noticed, we, we broke some of the uh, livestock shows apart this year. We've been doing beef and dairy the same night. We went, wound up about 12.30 last year trying to do that. Myron, and Steve and the group uh, broke, broke the, the dairy and the beef apart, had uh, 57 dairy animals shown by 35 kids on Tuesday night, actually the night before the fire actually opened. Uh, beef show was really well, e every show was really attending, she, she said we give over 144 awards out for livestock showmanship. Uh, you know, I remember the first year at the VFW we struggled to do a, a sheep show, if you remember to Crystal. Uh, it, it's all changed, okay? We just keep growing. It's, it's something good for the kids. It gives them something to do that teaches them a lot of other things about life. So 
that's a really good thing. Um, same Carnival Company we've always had, well, we've had for the last eight years now, I think. Brinkley done a real good job, I think. Uh, um, Gate was a somewhere really similar to last year, actually. We, we were down a little bit on uh, Saturday due to the rain, I think, okay, more than anything. Going to be in the fifty-eight, sixty thousand dollar range somewhere on the gate. Okay, um, I think there were more exhibits, and I, di I didn't get those numbers from Carol, but I'm, I'm fairly certain from what I can remember seeing, we had a lot more exhibits and exhibit hall. Uh, they really worked to try to fix that thing up, and make it look a lot nicer. Folks really seemed to enjoy that this year, from what I've seen. Um, Tractor dealerships seem to bring more tractors this year than we've had in the past. It, it seems like all in all, a lot of things are starting to come together a little more. Yeah, we've got our share of problems, but things are really positive. But I'll get off all that, and you all always want to thank me. Back here's part of the folks you need to thank. It probably ain't even half, okay? It takes a pile of people to pull this thing off. You know, I was sitting there thinking Sunday, you had, you had wrestling going on in front, you had hillbilly pig racing going on on one side in the back, you had a horse show going on, and you had coon dog hunting in the back. So, you know, you had four events going on at the same time, and every one of them had to have two to five people to do them. So it takes people. Not to mention trying to get the cars parked and the gates worked, okay? That's, Rex can talk to you more about the gates than I can, but it's it's a major challenge getting people through them. I know one time Sunday I started getting on my phone, calling anybody I knew and said, somebody better go out there and help me at the gate because they're backed up the road. I had everybody we had up in the field, including the inmates, trying to park cars. So, you know, that was... It's a major challenge, but it's a good challenge. I think we've got a really good thing going, but, you know, we're going to have to do some work to, to grow much more, okay? So, yes, sir. Like I say, ain't much report. I didn't come prepared, but I, I think you've got a fire to be proud of. Uh, I was asking Eddie there a minute ago. That's why I got him talking too loud, and I apologize. But I was asking how many teams. It was 14 teams at the horse pool. You ever had 12? I had 12. Okay. Well, we had 12. You had, we 12. had six lights and six handies. Okay. You're getting more teams at this than even West Virginia State Fair in general, okay? Myra says there's more livestock at ours than the State Fair has a lot of times now showing. So I think you got things to be proud of. But uh, I, I'm really proud of, of this group and what they've got it to. But, you know, we want to keep working, keep growing. So, uh, questions? I'd just like everybody to, who participated and volunteer to stand up. Everybody that participated in some fashion or the other, stand up. Because it takes a lot of... I know Ronald's got a crick in his neck, and, and <laughs> Wendell's tired of parking cars, and I'm tired of touching money, and everybody. I could say the same thing about everybody out there. Well, I really the appreciate it. and Skyview on what we've done without the yeah. car road. I know I had one person told me they waited 45 minutes to get parked. You know, that was probably showing me their blood showing me at one time. And if everybody would... Give these folks a round of applause. I don't know what we would do without the volunteers. I, I know not everyone is here. We had the Interact Club at the high school. The Skyview Church was there. The FFA was there. Honor Society was working. I know the community service from the schools were in various capacities there. And I know I'm missing a lot of folks that I'm not aware of that help out there. You had almost the whole women's committee of, of uh, Farm Bureau. Uh, yeah. There, I, I mean, you, we, if we start naming, we're going to leave somebody out. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I, I will say that <coughs> Morgan Griffin was very impressed, yeah. and he was very, very appreciative of the information you passed to him, Kevin, when you got to spend a little time talking to him. He, he, he thinks that he don't understand how we can do and how this county can do what it does with that county fair. Um, <laughs> and I, that's what I told him. I said, it's the volunteers. It's, it's the people that get out here and that take pride in, in what this county is doing and, and what is going on with this county and the agriculture. And it, it's, it's, it was impressive. It really was. And I only heard one complaint, and I handled that within like, 10 seconds. So that was all the Mr. thing Chairman, I heard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, if I could, I've, I've got one word to say about the county fair this year. It was wow. Wow. Uh, this was the first year that I've ever been there every day with, with the Shriners. And uh, I am so impressed. I am so impressed with what you guys pull off, with what you do, with what you dedicate your time to, to help this county 
in that county fair. We had people, uh, from Winston-Salem, Yakinville, Elkin, Sparta, West Virginia, about every county in Southwest Virginia that comes here to this fair. And it is the greatest thing. I told my wife Saturday night after we left, um, what a breath of fresh air for Carroll County. What a breath of fresh air for Carroll County. I mean, everything you read in the papers right now is negative, negative, negative. This is such a breath of fresh air for Carroll County, and we're putting Carroll County on the map. And I cannot imagine what Kevin and all the volunteers and all the, his committee and what y'all have to go through. I know it's a year-long process, year to year, and I am so appreciative of the people standing up and taking time to do something great for Carroll County. And I, I just want to generally thank you from the bottom of my heart from everything y'all do. And I promise, as long as I'm sitting up here, I'm behind you 110% because this is the, one of the great things that Carroll County has put us on the map for in a long, long time. And uh, wow, again, wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much. I'm not going to even try to name names, but, but I, I know our, our maintenance department works with you all. Sure um, so many volunteer churches, civic organizations. Uh, I, I, I was honored this year. Um, Kevin was very appreciative to give the Shriners a place to sell raffle tickets right inside the gate. And I saw smiles going in and smiles coming out. And people were thanking us just for the fair, just for the fair. There is a lot of people in this county and surrounding areas that look forward to this every, every year. And we need to build on it. We need to take the great experience that we had this year, and we need to make this even bigger and better. And uh, again, thank you all so very much for everything you do. And thank you is not good enough. I mean, I mean, that's all I can give you is thank you and, uh, and guarantee you that I will support this fair 200% the rest of the time I'm on this board. Thank you again. Joe, I think it, it was it's very interesting, the numbers of tickets that you told me you all sold. Oh my gosh. Say, um, compared yeah, to the New River Valley Fair. Yeah, I mean, just enlighten on that. Um, Shriners have a raffle going on. If you saw us over there, you know what's going on. It's a big it's a big fundraiser for Shrine Children's Hospital. Uh, we went to the New River Valley Fair, which is probably four times bigger than this one. Sold about half the tickets over there that we sold here this this past week. It was unbelievable that how people open up in this community for a great organization. I'm going to say because I'm a Shriner, but. I mean, just the, the smiles that went in there and the smiles that came out. I saw, I saw only two kids come out crying, and they were crying because they didn't want to leave. <laughs> you know? It was amazing the people I saw came day after day after day after day, and 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 Ronald, you and your train, <laughs> that was so awesome. Those kids, they look forward to that every stinking year. And and yesterday I was saying, see you next year, and they said, you better believe it. So. Again, thank you all so, so, so very much. From the bottom of my heart, I think I speak for the rest of the board. And uh, let's keep this going because it is a breath of fresh air for Carroll County. Thank you. Anybody else? Yeah, there was uh, the folks that we leave out, we have sponsors. We had Carter Bank and Trust that was there with volunteers, and it, I, no telling how many other folks that I'm leaving out. And it's we we see people. I know my wife; she has friends come back that she met coming through the gates, staying in a motel from out of state. That they drive up here and spend the weekend in a motel just to come and visit the fair, you know. So it's I really enjoy working it, enjoy talking to the kids. It's a fun. It's fun aggravating those kids. But like like you said, Joe. Everybody's got a smile on the face. Now the parents are dragging when they leave, but everybody's got a, a, a smile on the face when they're coming in, that's for sure. So I just want to really appreciate, let you know that we really appreciate what you do for Carroll County and, and Carroll County Fair. And you put, 
you've put us on the map. Yep. You put us on the map for a positive for one time. Yeah. Yep. And 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 I really 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 appreciate everything you do. I really do. Thank you. Th thank you, Kevin. Thank you. We really 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 thank you. And I guess we could recognize our queen here as well. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. Why not? There's three of them. Here, that's right? three of them. Three of them. That's right. I, I say I miss that. I I leave out folks too. Right. Uh, I don't know, but, but we we appreciate you coming tonight, and we appreciate. There's a little young lady back there. I didn't see her. <laughs> stand up back there. I can see these folks. Y'all. Everybody was in a beauty contest. Stand up. Or the winners. If you would, so we can see you. And, and you know, another great thing that I found out about the fair this year. Yep, that would be, that would, why don't everybody come up here and work with the fair after we get the picture with the, the folks and, and then we can get a picture of everybody that at least showed up tonight. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's a challenge. It's amazing. Come and help me get up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. One of the things what why they're where they're being seating is is it's not just when the gates are open. I was over there a lot last week dealing with what I was dealing with. It is a very educational experience for our kids. Like somebody said earlier. Every day there was kids in there taking advantage of the programs and the different things and learning. And it's not just the fair from 8 to 11 or 5 to 11 or 11 to whatever time we left there every night. But it's an educational experience for the children of Carroll County. And it's something they would never, ever have an advantage of it if these volunteers and these people didn't put this on. And I think it's one of the greatest things. Again, I'll say, wow, what a breath of fresh air and what an experience that Carroll County has developed. And Kevin and, and your people, all your volunteers, all your staff, all the volunteers that work there. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, we couldn't do this. And, uh, you know, you're, you're going well and beyond the days of the gates being open to educate and help people of this county. And that's... This day and time, that's unheard of. But Carroll County's on the map for it. I know you guys got small fare of the state for the last two years. If you don't get it this year, we're going to Richmond and find out why not. Okay. <laughs> it was awesome. And, and as Rex said, we had some representatives here. Uh, we had our congressman was here and our state senator was here and people running for delegate. And they couldn't believe it. They could not believe what was going on over there at Farmer's Market. And the other thing I want to say is what surprised me, they kept the market open through this whole thing. They were still doing business with the Farmer's Market. It was unbelievable. I just, I, I, I can't say enough, okay? And I'm going to shut up, okay? <laughs> How many loads of corn come in over the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> but it was all handled very graciously, very safe, and... Um, I see this thing going nowhere but forward. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. And what Rex is, I, I don't, I don't do things I should. You're right on the sponsors. We had, a, we had two that was in the five, ten thousand dollar range this year. We had a bunch in the one, uh, in the one to five, and we had a lot of twenty five. We thank them yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. The other thing you're talking about, like Ronald's Barrel Train, they don't belong to us. They belong to Tommy Brown. Uh, Bobby Lowe. Bobby Lowe. Come in there and done the dope. And uh, Terry Jennings has done it for years. You know, there's there's people who put a lot of equipment stuff in this fire that, you know, they're, you know it's, it's, it's a lot besides what can puts in. Okay? It, it is. It is. And, but it's a community coming together right. for a positive thing. And that's what I love about it. And I, I want to see this thing go way belong, way farther than when I'll be here. But I think it's put Carroll County on the map. It has in a positive thing. It's put Carroll County on the map. And I really appreciate everybody's effort for all your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. And if y'all will just hang around for just a few minutes.
I want to get uh, uh, try to get everyone a, a photograph of, of y'all here. I know we don't have everybody. But when we announce that we're going to closed session, if y'all come up here, we'll take pictures and we'll hopefully we'll have that around. Maybe we can start doing this every year and maybe get more participants that that helped come here. But if y'all will just hang around, just won't be long. <laughs> Uh, what do we have? What do we have on this informational package? Is that just for, uh, for information? Information on, all right. Rogers Community Service Board and New River Water. All right. And we plan on going into closed session. Well, uh, after that, there won't be anything we'll be doing. No conducting any business other than come back and, and adjourning. Uh, do I have a motion to go into closed session? I make a motion. Mr. Chairman, that we enter closed session under Virginia Section 2.2-3711 under A1, A5, and A8, and that should be personnel, prospective businesses, and consultation with legal counsel. Okay, I have a motion. Do I have a second? And just to specify, a little, add a little more specificity, as far as the legal counsel consultation, I have... Um, Economic Development Revenue Sharing Agreement discussion, uh, discussion of confidentiality agreements, um, artisan uh, sales agreement, and utility capacity agreements. All right, do I have a second? Uh, second. Any discussion? Start with you, Joe? Yes. Philip? Yes. I say yes. Uh, Robbie? Yes. Dr. Little? Yes. All right, we're going to close session, but first, Y'all come up here. Let's get a photograph of all you folks standing up here. How have we got to do it to participate with the fair? Because I want to get photos myself. <laughs> I hope.